Without objection, the gentlelady from Texas is recognized for one minute. Let me thank my colleagues from Texas for joining me. The calculated ambush and murders of the Dallas law enforcement officers during a peaceful protest in downtown Dallas last night was a disgraceful act of violence. It happened in my district. I live less than five blocks away. My prayers and sympathy go out to the families of the officers slain and the victims of the shooting. Our response going forward, not just in Dallas, but across our nation, will be more important now than ever before. My thoughts and prayers are also with the families of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile, who violently lost their lives this week as well. We must de-escalate violence. This recent violence serves as a stark reminder that relations between law enforcement and communities they serve remain extremely tense. And we must do everything we can not to inflame this tension even further. We need to recognize the root cause of this tension and work to end the divisiveness between law enforcement and citizens. I do also want to commend the Dallas Police Department the Dallas Police Chief, David Brown, a constituent, and someone I work with very closely in the Dallas area traffic, rapid transit, work closely for their brave and swift response to the shooting. These officers are among the, some of the most capable and professional law enforcement officers in the country. And I commend them for their bravery during this incident. Mrs. <laughs> We need to bring meaningful legislation to the floor that will help bridge the divide between law enforcement and communities. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back. Rise for a moment of silence. 